What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the festival of rugby as a possibility. It looks like they're trying to figure out a tournament in, in case the November internationals don't play, take place and continuing to find new ways to raise funds for COVID-19 pandemic and, and to try and help these um, nations, provinces, all that to really generate money. And the latest talk is a festival of rugby, which is going to be South Africa and Japan will head over to England where this tournament will be hosted. And they will all play the six nations teams um, in what should be like a small uh, tournament type of thing of pros, maybe two, um, two logs. And these guys will fight it out. What a what an opportunity it will be, especially with all the talk of South Africa being uh, leaving, you know, uh, the Southern Hemisphere to go to um, Europe to play Six Nations. You know, there's so much talk going on. No one's quite sure what the hell is going to happen. But this could be an interesting opportunity to see South Africa playing the Six Nations teams, seeing how they can do and how they will uh, go about it. Because, I mean, it's definitely a talk. Can they handle it? Are they strong enough? Um, what will what will it be like? Will South Africa be too dominant or will they not fit and gel and will they get smashed? There's so many opportunities and concerns for that possibility of if we do join the Six Nations or Europe, how it will adapt. So for me, I think this is a fantastic idea um, of bringing a tournament together so we can uh, get ignited by rugby. So according to the Daily Mail, the Six Nations teams could be joined by the world champions, South Africa and Japan in London in a one-off event to help boost the rugby union's finances, which have taken an knock due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The tournament could be structured with two pools of four countries with the possibility of a round-robin fixture of the, and, taking a and a final taking place at Twickenham. After last year's successful World Cup, there's plenty of talk regarding whether Japan's future lies with the European powerhouse in the Six Nations or with the four rugby championship nations. So it's going to be interesting. A lot of talk, a lot of things coming up in in the whole sport and um, I think we're all excited we're all keen to see some sort of international rugby right now we've got the super rugby in New Zealand kicking off on in June which is next week which is outstanding there's talk of Pro 14 coming back soon Australia getting a tournament going South Africa our players are allowed back at training but no rugby um, matches scheduled so hopefully by then, we should be able to join this tournament and fly over to England and uh, create something big. But again, it all depends on how this pandemic goes. Is it going to reduce? Is it getting better? Da, 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 da. All these precautions we need to look in. And also, it's going to be obviously behind closed doors. So no fans. How's it going to work? All that stuff. A lot of logistics in place that need to be followed through before we get started. But um, I like this idea. I think it's going to be great. I think the reason why they've done this is because South Africa pretty much, oh, sorry, New Zealand pretty much have their own plan and idea ahead. So they reckon they find this talk of the Silver Lake investment. Um, so things are looking good over there. So why not help South Africa out and help these Six Nations teams out as well as Japan and see what can happen. But it's smart because there's so much room to talk of what's going to happen, the future of Six Nations, the future of Rugby Championships. So now we can see whether or not the Springboks could fit in um, to the Six Nations structure. So I think it's good. I think they need to do this. It's going to be absolutely an incredible game to watch. And let's not forget Japan. I mean, they were brilliant in the World Cup. We can never write them off at all. Um, so it's going to be exciting. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens and how all things could turn around. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this tournament. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's not? Remember, this is only if November internationals do not happen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.